Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will test a gas valve. The gas valve in this example is 24 volt. They come in a variety of voltages. Normally, the incoming gas is connected here. Now, before we can test the gas valve, the first thing we must understand is each furnace will have a specific sequence of operation. Generally, um, if you want to know the sequence of operation, watch the tutorial titled Gas Furnace Dash Sequence of Operation. But in a nutshell, what, what initially happens with the door on and this switch made, the induced draft motor energizes, the cell switch proves that, uh, that this is operating properly. Um, it also checks the continuity through the plenum thermostat and all the flame blowout switches. Once all of this is done, the board energizes the induced draft motor. The hot surface igniter will begin to glow. At this time, just for a couple of seconds, the gas valve will be energized. But if we just want to check this gas valve to see if it's working or not, we either turn the thermostat on to a call for heat. Once it cycles through all of our sequence of operation, the gas valve should attempt to open. To find out if that's happening, take your tester, set it to volts AC. You can tell if you're at the right spot because you can set this here and you, you should have 24 volts within three seconds, three to five seconds of the hot surface igniter beginning to glow. If the hot surface igniter never begins to glow, you probably have a different problem. But uh, once that happens, if you have 24 volts here and you hear no noise and there's no gas that, that comes through, um, our gas doesn't begin to flow, you know that that's probably your problem. But if we want to test this gas valve for operation, first thing we do, let's make sure the electricity is off to the system once it's completely off. Now this should only be performed by qualified personnel, of course. We're gonna disconnect our two low voltage wires to our gas valve. Next, we're going to take some jumper wires. We're going to attach them to the gas valve. Now this should only be done for one to two seconds just to check the operation of the gas valve. Now down here on our, on our transformer, we have the black and white are the line voltage in, the red and brown are the 24 volts. Now at this point, what we would do is we would just close our door switch just for a second, listening to hear if, we, if gas begins to flow. gas does not begin to flow we have a bad gas valve and once again do not do this for more than about just a second or two this concludes our tutorial of testing a gas valve on a gas furnace but please stay tuned while we introduce the super cool slide rule it is the coolest tool in air conditioning guaranteed to save you lots of money by saving you lots of time I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method the back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct, it has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. 
And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.